In this video, you're going to learn how to properly prepare a primary standard solution. Before watching this video, make sure you've seen the analytical balance video, the weight by difference video, the meniscus video, and the volumetric flask video. A standard solution is a solution prepared that has a known concentration. This is very important in analytical chemistry as they are used in a variety of experiments. To be able to properly prepare a standard solution, you need to use a variety of different chemistry techniques that you've learned in previous videos. The first step is to weigh out your solute. Do this using the same technique shown to you in the analytical balance video. Once you've recorded the initial mass, empty your sample into a beaker. I'm using a 250 milliliter beaker because I'll be making a 250 milliliter sample. Now weigh your empty vial and record the final mass. Use the difference between the initial and final mass to get the mass of your sample transferred. You'll now want to add approximately 100 milliliters of deionized water, which is my solvent, to the beaker. A general rule of thumb is to add about half as much solvent as you'll need to make the final solution. Since we'll be making a 250 milliliter solution, I'm using approximately 100 to 150 milliliters. You'll now want to dissolve all of your solid into the solvent. To do this, vigorous stirring with a stirring rod should do the trick. Be patient and make sure to dissolve all of the solid because none of it can be left behind before transferring. Make sure never to remove your stirring rod from the solution without rinsing it first as some of your analyte might be lost. Now that all of your solute has dissolved, quantitatively transfer it into your volumetric flask. This is done the same way as shown to you in the quantitative transfer and volumetric flask video. Pouring down the stirring rod helps to prevent splashing of your solution. Once your transfer is complete, rinse out your beaker three times with your solvent, then your stirring rod and your funnel. Doing this helps to prevent any of your solute from being left behind. Make sure not to remove your stirring rod before you've rinsed it, again to prevent the loss of your solute. And finally, make sure not only to rinse the inside of your funnel, but the stem. Once you've finished rinsing, cap your flask and invert it several times to mix. Now fill the flask to the mark with the deionized water, which is my solvent. Remember, as you get closer to the top graduation, to add dropwise so not to overfill. If you do overfill, you'll have to start over. If you're still unsure to do this with the squeeze bottle, make sure to use a dropper instead. The bottom of the meniscus should lie exactly on the graduation. Now cap your flask and invert it several times to mix. Make sure to do this 15 to 20 times to ensure that your solution is thoroughly mixed. You've now successfully made a standard solution and it can be used in many different areas of chemistry.